Hello, I'm Trisha Yearwood and welcome to my kitchen. This is actually Trisha's kitchen. This is Trisha's Southern kitchen. This is where we shoot the show. Most of you know me as a singer, but what you might not know is that among my family and friends, I'm equally known for my cooking. This is a real house, not just a set. I bought this house about 20 years ago. It's my first my house. It's got a great vibe and we do all things Trisha in this house. It's really my happy place. And I'm gonna show you some little tricks and things we do in here. So this is a working set kitchen, which means it's always perfect. And if you ever see me on the show, go over to the pantry. It's just a cabinet and it's usually stocked with whatever we need for whatever we're making on that day. So this is where you're gonna find kind of the, the, the show stuff. So you'll notice we call this Greeking, so we've hidden the brands on things. So if you ever see us go in and, you know, this says tomato sauce, but we've cleverly hidden the brand. There's someone's job to go in and go, how do we make this look cute and real and nobody notices that the brand's not on there, but it's not on there, but now you know. That's what we do. The, the refrigerator is always cleaner than my refrigerator at home. Um, and it always has, again, something that we're gonna be using that day. Like I've got a chicken pot pie burger in here. This is actually something that's in the new book that I'm gonna be making later today, uh, doing a little food demo. So I've got it all prepped and ready to go. And there's some gravy in a pan in there that I'm gonna pour over. It's gonna be really cool. There's always gonna be milk in here. There's always gonna be eggs. There's always gonna be coffee cream, whether it's on the episode or not, because I'm gonna need it for my actual coffee. And you're probably never gonna see sardines in here. I don't think I've ever made anything on the show with sardines. You're never gonna see wasabi. I know, I'm sorry, I'm not a wasabi girl. And then when I'm in the kitchen, when we're doing an episode of Trisha Southern Kitchen, usually I have a wonderful crew who kind of gets the table ready, gets the countertop ready, any utensil that I might need. But I am a real cook, and I also sometimes want something different than what I see on the counter. So I have a drawer um, here that usually has spatulas in it. It's got um, tongs, whatever I'm gonna need. It also has this fan because sometimes girl gets warm <laughs> and that has to come out and then behind me are knives um, just in case again in case I don't um, have the knife I need but it's it's the cleanest drawer in a kitchen you're ever gonna see in your whole life if you watch the show try to check this out and see if you can spot this little mixer I'm gonna take one out and see oh yeah those so are yeah amazing. see oh, yeah I love all things miniature I don't know why it's just a thing for me and um, somebody <laughs> gave me this a while back and it's the tiniest little mixer it even has a little cord it's usually just somewhere in the kitchen. It just, I don't even know how it started. It just made a shot and then we're like, okay, it's gonna be in the show. So you'll find it tucked behind a book or behind a glass or just somewhere. Most of these things are things that I have some kind of association with. My favorite things behind me are the, the Gwendolyn platters and the dishes. Anything you see with this design, my mother, Gwen um, sketched cakes before she would make them for weddings and parties, and uh, William Sonoma took those sketches and made them into dishware. So that will probably forever be um, in Trisha's kitchen. I always need room temperature butter for a recipe that I'm making, you know, for a cake or just about anything. So where are you gonna keep it, right? So at home, I just put it out on the counter, but here we have a secret butter drawer. <laughs> so my friend Michelle who works on the show, this is her genius tip. So she just keeps a couple of sticks of butter in the drawer. It's always there. I should do this at home actually. And then her genius trick is when you, you leave the wrapper on and then when you take the wrapper off after the butter has gotten soft, you're going to have a little bit of butter left on this packaging. And this is really good to grease a pan with. It's like, it's like she, you don't waste a single thing. So, you know, always working on the show right now. I've got some cranberry pear bread going in the oven. Both ovens do work and we do use both ovens on the show. They also are really loud when they're on. Sometimes the fan will come on, which could happen any minute, I'll let you know. And it gets really loud and the sound guys love me for that. Oh, let me show you this. This is really super cool, hang on. You never see this on the show, but this is kind of the magic. This is where we store everything. So all our sheet trays are here and then whatever's coming up will be kind of loaded in and brought in. So there's another kitchen because you have to have a second kitchen to prep all this. And if you've seen the show, you know that we don't have time to sometimes cook a casserole for an hour, for instance. So there'll be a swap and there's a crew cooking the other, an, another version of the same recipe in a second kitchen, which is actually a garage <laughs> that has been converted into a kitchen. So this is right, like just getting ready for what we're working on in these in these few days here. So I've got some pasta here that's been cooked is gonna be, this is gonna be turned into a, a pasta snack dip. It's gonna be amazing. These are potato chip bacon brownies that um, probably will not make it home. You guys that are all staring at me right now are gonna want one of these before you go home. So I did, when I bought this house, the kitchen was 
kind of like a all one small room and behind us is a, is a big open space and that was actually a push out but also the the stove was back here facing the wall which most kitchens are but you know just imagine like we're doing a cooking show and I'm cooking and um, it's really hard to do right you can't do a show that way so we changed the island up we brightened it up it was a pretty dark kitchen and we put the cooktop in the island so now um, I can face camera and it actually I love it so much that um, when Garth and I built our house I, I put the cooked up in the island so that I could face the room so that when my friends are over um, And they're all hanging out. We're all together in the same space So I really do love having the cooked up in the island the biggest disaster I've ever had in the kitchen. There have been a lot. I do make a German chocolate cake every year for Garth's birthday. It's his favorite cake, and it's a very tender cake. I made it one year, and it got kind of stuck in the pan because it was just so tender. It was kind of falling apart, and I got frustrated. And if anyone who knows me is smiling right now because uh, patience is not my superpower, I finally got the cakes, and it was a three-layer cake. Got the cakes turned out. They were literally in pieces. And I was really not happy. I, I was not having a good time. And Garth, of course, who's just Mr. Positive, he comes in and he says, look, is that cake gonna taste, is this still gonna taste good? And I'm like, yeah. And it looks like, it looks like a disaster, um, but it tasted, it tasted great. Who is the coolest person I've ever cooked for in this kitchen? I would have to say, I'd have to say Garth, because I actually cooked for Garth in this kitchen long before there was a TV show. There was a dining room table over there and I made him fettuccine Alfredo, which he almost fell asleep in the plate. But I think that was the beginning of me knowing that I'm gonna marry this guy. I would say my most used appliance, my most used thing in the kitchen is a really good sharp knife, I highly recommend. But my most used appliance is my electric mixer. And I don't actually have one out right now because we're not using one for the next demo, but I do have my mini I would highly recommend though that you don't make your cake batter in this. You just have a very tiny cake. What do I make the most? I make, I get on kicks, you know, so I'll make the same thing for a while and then I, I'm lucky because my husband likes to eat the same thing <laughs> over and over again, but I get on a kicks. Right now I'm on a white chicken chili kick. Well, thanks Delish, that's Trisha's Kitchen and now I gotta get to cooking so you guys gotta get out of here. Bye.